guys, in this video, we're gonna be just doing a little short discussion kind of about um, sort of my experience with these cars and uh, kind of my opinion on sort of the tuning aspect of, uh, of everything. Because as you guys know, I just recently went stage one integrated engineering. I'm uh, currently rocking their low torque uh, stage one tune. So um, nothing absolutely crazy, but uh, it does make a difference and you can feel it for sure. So, so I've owned this car for a little bit now and um, basically, you know, I really never actually considered tuning it. Um, I've had a tuned car before. I even tuned my GTI prior to its warranty going away. And that's one of the things that was holding me back was I didn't really want to avoid my warranty. Uh, you know, that's kind of just one of those things. Like, you know, once you tune your car, that warranty goes away, even when you go stage one. Now, um, you know, JB4 did kind of go through my mind as kind of something that uh, would have given my uh, car a nice bump, but uh, I wanted something real. I wanted a real ECU tune, you know, something that was actually going to be worth the money and worth the time. So I, uh, and I also want something that will allow me to keep continuing. And, um, you know, I don't want to just say JB4 and that's it. Like that's, you know, obviously you guys want to see more content. You guys want to see this thing get faster and faster. You know, I want to be able to continue that type of stuff. So um, I uh, decided to go integrated engineering and um, a lot of uh, reasons as to why I did that. Uh, some of it being they actually did jump on board and they are an official sponsor for the channel, which is really great news. I'm super, super fortunate. Um, so we're going to be doing things in short little legs. Um, I'm again, I'm going to kind of start off slow. I want to, uh, you know, uh, space everything out. I want to, you know, enjoy this stage one tune for as much as possible. And then of course, you know, hopefully in a couple months or so, maybe a little bit longer, you know, we'll go stage two, we'll do the downpipe. It will be catted and, um, yeah, we'll go stage two and uh, hopefully full bolts on by then. But um, yeah, so um, I chose IE because they have phenomenal hardware. A lot of my friends have their uh, their tunes and um, yeah, I've just heard a lot of good stuff. And uh, you know what, They're, uh, they just have a really, really good track record. So um, that's kind of why I went IE and um, I'm really happy I did. <clears throat> now, prior to you know even tuning this car and considering it, I didn't really want to because I wanted to keep my warranty and the power felt good enough. But let me tell you guys, after flashing this thing to stage one, even the low torque, I mean, <laughs> the speedo will tell you enough. It's so fast. <laughs> I mean, it's it's this thing's a little missile now, and I, I'm in love with it. I mean, in love with it even more. I mean, I I love this car kind of uh, as as a as a stock variant, and now I love it even more now that it's tuned. So. Um, it's currently rocking around, I think, 360 horsepower, give or take, and that's to the crank, uh, to the wheels, I don't know, I don't know the math, but, you know, it's up there, it should be at least like 320. So, yeah, stage one, I mean, is it worth the money? It certainly is. Um, bear in mind, guys, this is the low torque tune, uh, so it only gets faster. This is like the, the, the slow version, however, I did go 93, so... Um, I am running the 93 octane tune, but um, yeah, now one of the things that's kind of quirky is, uh, and this happened with uh, some other tunes that I've had prior with my GTI, but um, it has a little bit of a compressor surge off throttle, and it's only off low boost, uh, you can't really, you know, if you're really in it, it won't do it, but um, some downshifts you get some nice compressor surge, and when you do sound out like light on and off throttle little it'll do it I, I don't think the microphone's gonna pick it up but uh, it is kind of cool and it's uh, it's really fun to kind of drive around here in the turbo um, so yeah I mean is it worth it I think so I would say definitely so um, especially if you go with the right tune um, IE just has again a really good track record they put a lot of research and development into their tunes and uh, I really probably would not have gone any other way. I know a lot of people were kind of, you know, wondering why I didn't go EQT, because um, that was something that was sort of on uh, my radar a little bit ago. But I'll tell you guys, I mean, I want to be able to, you know, follow a company that has uh, not only this solid software, but I like solid hardware. And uh, EQT at this point, they're kind of all over the place, you know, I've seen a lot of people just with multiple parts and, um, you know, if I want to go with a build, I want to go with everything. So IE does pretty much everything in-house, they don't rebrand anything and that's kind of one of the nice things about it. Um, you know, they, uh, they're a great, great company and, um, you know, I could say a lot of great things about them and I drone on for 
for hours. But um, but realistically, I mean, there it's a super super solid team there, and uh, they're you know if you have any questions, they're always easy to reach. So um, and they uh, you know I of course I had my questions. You know I was freaking out about my warranty, and you know they uh, they kind of. Uh, uh, solidified my uh, my understanding that these cars are pretty darn bulletproof again my GTI was bulletproof it did you know did have a little issue but that was sort of with um, the spark plugs that I put into the car um, it was not tune related so realistically these cars can take it um, you know this car only has 20,000 miles and I drive it pretty average I would say I don't I don't baby and I don't really really beat on it um, you know I have fun in my cars and I enjoy them I drive them the way they're supposed to be driven. And now you could probably hear that compressor surge I was talking about. But uh, yeah, guys, oh man, I can. I wish I had more uh, more stretches of road. I mean, it's uh, it's just so fast. It really never died off at the top, but uh, now that I've tuned it, I kind of start to feel like, oh wow, it does get even faster. I guess it kind of did die off because. Um, this now just keeps pulling and it's just so satisfying to get in the throttle now the nice thing about the golf r is the fact that how you know these cars are really really engineered well they um you know <clears throat> these cars kind of mask the fact that you're going for quite excessive speeds and uh, i like that about these cars i mean uh it kind of gets away from the drama and the craziness that you know you are going extremely fast but um in this car i mean i i can drive as you know whatever and it really kind of feels like I'm <laughs> driving the speed limit it sounds crazy but uh, yeah and I know that's not really for everyone I guess a lot of people kind of like drama and theater but um, I like a car that can kind of just go fast and I really don't have to try and um, this thing is definitely definitely a monster and uh, we'll have some head-to-head -head soon we'll have some fun highway encounters if you guys catch my drift we we'll get some buddies with some cool cars and um, yeah I'd love to get some uh, some cool head-to-heads for sure so um, I don't think I should drone on anymore and I think I've spoke enough But let me just tell you guys if you're wondering if you want to tune your car if you want to tune your golf R, your GTI, whatever um, It's so worth you know jumping right into it because the gains that you get are just superb and bear in mind guys I'm on low torque stage one it gets even freaking faster and uh, yeah so Anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for staying tuned to my video and uh, definitely be sure to check out Integrated Engineering if you're interested in kind of jumping on the, uh, the, uh, the modifying train and see if you, want to, uh, if you want to get a little bit more out of your car, I recommend checking out Integrated Engineering. They're the guys, they know what they're doing. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna end it there. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.